After connecting with the phone, you can view the system properties and take full remote control of the device. To enable screen sharing, click the play button on the phone's display. Once screen sharing is enabled, you can take control by clicking the mouse control button. You can now interact with the phone in real time, tapping and dragging across the screen. There are other options available to you in the remote call viewer. You can view phone specifications and settings in the main system info tab, such as model number, battery level, and signal strength. At the bottom, there are quick shortcuts to various settings on the phone. The Quick Settings tab gives you quick access to make changes to various settings on the phone. The Process Info tab gives you a list of running processes on the phone, use memory, drive space, and even gives you the ability to kill tasks in real time. The Applications tab shows you a list of installed applications, both preloaded apps and user installed apps. User installed apps can be removed from the device remotely. Preloaded apps are locked and cannot be removed. The Message tab allows two-way text chatting with the mobile user, especially useful if the user is not in a position to communicate verbally with the technician, or has stepped away from their phone during the support session. The Log tab displays a log of all activity on the phone during the support session. This log can be exported at the end of the session. The Session Report tab displays all previous session notes from previous support sessions. And lastly, the File Transfer tab allows two-way file transfers between the PC and the phone. The soft keys along the bottom of the phone work as they do on the real phone. Above the phone's display is a list of remote shortcuts. The speakerphone button enables the speakerphone on the device, allowing hands-free communication during the support session. The plus and minus keys are volume controls for the media and ringer volumes. The home button takes the user back to the home screen. The menu button opens the screen menu. The back button moves back one menu. The search button opens up internet search. The camera button enables the phone's camera. The settings button opens the phone's settings menu. And the rotation lock buttons lock rotation of the phone's display, keeping it in landscape or portrait mode. From the main remote call menu, you can adjust session settings. From here, you can adjust the color depth of the remote display to improve overall performance or quality. You can also reboot and reconnect with the phone by selecting reboot and reconnect. From the top menu, you can also draw on the phone's display. Take a screenshot of the phone and push a URL to the phone. That's it for our video tutorials of Remote Call Plus Mobile. For more information, please refer to the user manual, our homepage at rsupport.com, or our help desk at helpdesk.rsupport.com.